Hey everyone, this is Andrew Embler, CTO of Portland Labs and co-founder of Concrete 5. Today I'm going to continue discussion on how you can use Concrete 5's Express to build easy to update websites. When we left off, we had created our marina's website and created an express object for a marina and a boat and related the two to each other. We'd built the various input forms, but we hadn't done anything on the front end. Today, let's add a custom block that lists the boats found in my marina on the marina's page. To do this, we're going to use a combination of a custom template on the express details block and the express attribute type. In general, what we're going to do is add a page attribute for marina to our site. Then on each marina's page on the front end, like this one, we're going to attach that attribute and select the express object entry for that marina. Then we're going to use the express details block on each page to grab the associated boats that are joined to that marina. So let's add our express attribute. We head into page attributes here. Scroll down to add attribute and find express entity at the end of the list. Let's give it a nice handle. Since we're selecting marinas, it makes sense that we might just call this marina. And down here, we choose which express entity we're going to be grabbing entries from. Since we're going to be associating a marina with a marina's page, we'll select marina. Now let's head into the sitemap and select the appropriate express entries for each page. Golden Beach Marina is the first one. Scroll down to Marina here. It will add our attribute to the bottom of the list. Choose Entry. Golden Beach Marina. Save the changes. And we do the same for Boardwalk Marina and Island Marina. Now that we've associated our front end pages with express attributes, we're going to add express details blocks to each of the marina's pages. Let's start with Golden Beach. Put the page in edit mode. Open our blocks panel, scroll down, find the express section, and drag details into the page. First, we're going to choose how we retrieve the relevant entry for this page. We can do this in a couple different ways. Uh, one, we can populate the entry from an external express search uh, block from another page. And uh, we can also display a specific entry. Or we can use a custom attribute from the current page. And that's what we want to do because it is what we have set up already with our Marina's custom attribute. So select that option. We'll choose the marina attribute that we added. And finally, we choose which form uh, for the marina attribute that we want to render details in. That's not that important for this particular use case because we're going to be creating a completely custom template. But for basic usages of this block, it is how we choose what attributes to display. So we add that block to this page, and you can see that the view contents of our form are shown, including the name of the relevant marina and the uh, associated boats. So this is pulling dynamically from the custom attribute on our page. Let's implement a custom template that instead of just showing this name and boat, actually just goes through the associated boats and shows detailed information about them, sort of like a data list for associations on this page. Creating a custom template in Concrete 5 is super straightforward. There are multiple docs and videos on how to do this, so if you don't know how to do that, you should definitely check those out before continuing. For everyone else, let's start by creating the directory in my application blocks directory for the relevant block in question. This is the name of the, the handle of the block, express entry detail. Now we're going to create a templates directory beneath that. And now we're going to create a new PHP file. And we're going to call this boatlist.php because we are going to be grabbing the current marina object and showing all the associated boats with that object.
Now let's copy the view from the internal express entry detail block into our boat listing custom template. It's very, very simple. You can kind of see how this works. Um, each express entry detail block has an entry object that's been injected from the controller into the template. So you can run multiple, uh, you can run multiple operations against that object. You can grab attribute values from it straight away. Uh, you can also render it in a form renderer, which is how the block operates standardly. But we don't want to do that. We want to write our own code. So we're going to start by deleting that. Before we start working on our custom template, let's change our block instance to pull from that custom template instead of using the default express entry details template. That way we'll know when something is uh, working or not working. So to do that, we put the page in edit mode, head down here, design and custom template. And here our boat list template is showing in the custom template selector. We put that in there and everything becomes blank. And that's to be expected because our custom template has no display logic in it yet. We actually removed the, the default form rendering logic. So our template is blank and it is ready for us to work with. First, we're going to retrieve all of the boats associated with this marina entry. Now, obviously our express entry object doesn't have a method on it named get boats. But what it does have is a magic method that, in the event of any method being called on the entry object that doesn't exist, will check all associations and all associated attribute keys to see if they match that pattern when you camel case them. So remember that plural option that we entered when we created our boats object? This is how we can retrieve boats from the association. We run get boats and immediately all of the associated objects are available. Now it's just a simple matter of displaying them in a table. I will save some of the pain of you watching me type this. And now we can go through this in detail. First, we retrieve the boats from the entry. Then we print out our table with name, year, owner, and classification. Then we iterate over each boat object and we call get boat name, get boat year, get boat owner, and get boat class. And the reason that this works is because we have attributes on the boat object named boat underscore name, boat underscore year, boat underscore owner, boat underscore, underscore class. These are just your standard concrete five attribute handles and we camel case them. So any, any uh, underscore becomes an uppercase next uh, character in the method pretty standard stuff in the world of concrete five and when we refresh our page we get this our data grid exactly as we hoped it would look our attribute display methods take care of all the custom formatting making sure that our attributes look good in this context and we know that we're pulling dynamically because if we go to the golden beach page and put our new boat list custom template on that instance of the express entry details block we can see that there are no boats found for the Golden Beach Marina. So we are actually pulling our boats dynamically and showing custom attribute data in a way that makes it really easy to keep up to date and really easy to understand what's going on. Thanks for watching this Express video tutorial and please check out Concrete 5 version 8.